the YouTube channel, on of the linguistic ties between different Fulani dialects, such as Futa Toro, Futa Jalan, Uzina, Sokoto, and Adamawa, underscore the unity within their diversity in the historical migration patterns that shaped their linguistic landscape. Despite the challenges posed by external influences and changing lifestyles, the Fiori's commitment to education and linguistic diversity remains evident. Most Fiori, being Muslims, possess the ability to read and write Arabic, and many are fluent in either French or English, depending on the colonial history of their respective regions. This linguistic versatility reflects their adaptability to different cultural and historical contexts. The Fulani people's nomadic past, steeped in cattle herding and trade, has left an indelible mark on West African history. As they traverse the vast plains of Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, and Guinea, they establish numerous trade routes, contributing to the economic landscape of the region. Their interactions in local markets not only facilitated trade, but also served as channels for the exchange of news, spreading information across West Africa. The Fiori's impact on the broader West African society is undeniable, and their cultural distinctiveness is manifested in a strict caste system that has endured over the centuries. The nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves, each play specific roles within Fulani society, maintaining a social order that reflects historical norms and values. In the face of contemporary challenges, including the risk of losing their nomadic identity, and clashes over resources with other ethnic groups, the Fulani people remain resilient. Their ability to adapt while preserving core cultural elements speaks to the strength of their heritage. The fusion of traditional practices, such as spear duels and intricate body adornments, with the realities of modern life pains, a nuanced picture of a people navigating the complexities of cultural continuity in a changing world. As the Fulani people continue to evolve within the contemporary landscape, their story serves as a testament to the intricate interplay between tradition and modernity. The preservation of the linguistic, cultural, and religious heritage becomes not only a testament to their rich history, but also a guide for navigating the challenges of an ever-changing global landscape. The Fiori's journey, marked by migration, conquest, and adaptation, contributes a vibrant thread to the diverse tapestry of West African cultures. Distinctive features of Fulani culture include a deep respect for beauty, evidenced by intricate tattoos, and a tradition of bravery and fearlessness, symbolized by ceremonial spear duels. The caste system among the Fulani comprises the nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves of wealthy Fulani. Numbering around 38 million, the Fulani are spread across West Africa, with significant populations in Nigeria, 
Senegal, Mali, Cameroon, Niger, and other countries. The Fulani has a long history, with records tracing their presence back to the Senegambian region around a thousand years ago. Their nomadic lifestyle and mastery of cattle, herding contributed to the rise of the Empire of Ghana. Historically, the Fulani entered Senegal from the north and east and various theories propose different origins, including ties to Berber people of North Africa. Genetic evidence, however, suggests indigenous West African roots, supported by linguistic ties with Arabic and Berber languages. Religiously, the Fulani are predominantly Muslims, following the Maliki school of Islam. Linguistically, the Fulani's Fulani language showcases a fusion of influences, incorporating known words from Arabic and Berber. Their ability to communicate in multiple languages, including French or English, reflects a historical adaptability to diverse cultural contexts. As education plays a crucial role, Fulani Muslims often possess literacy in Arabic, emphasizing the continuity of their intellectual traditions. The Fulani's story is one of resilience, adaptation, and a delicate dance between tradition and change. Their ability to navigate the shifting landscapes of West Africa, from the Sahel grasslands to the modern urban centers, speaks to the enduring strength of their cultural tapestry. As they continue to forge their path in the 21st century, the Fulani people contribute a unique chapter to the ongoing narrative of West African diversity and heritage. The Fulani people, numbering around 38 million and spread across 18 African countries, face the challenges of balancing tradition and modernity. Their story, rooted in migration, conquest, and cultural adaptation, continues to unfold, revealing the resilient people, navigating the complexities of a changing world while holding onto the core elements that define their identity. Historically, the Fulani entered Senegal from the north and east, and various theories propose different origins, including ties to Berber people of North Africa. Genetic evidence, however, suggests indigenous West African roots, supported by linguistic ties with Arabic and Berber languages. Religiously, the Fulani are predominantly Muslims, following the Maliki school of Islam. The rise to political dominance occurred in the 17th and 18th centuries, with key figures like Usman Dan Fodio, establishing the Fulani Empire. Migration patterns, influenced by Berber movements, brought the Fulani into contact with various African tribes, often resulting in conquests. The Fulani people's journey through history is marked by intricacies and diverse narratives, that intertwine with the rich tapestry of West African culture. As they traversed the Sahel grasslands from Senegal to Sudan in the 16th century, the Fulani's nomadic lifestyle shaped their identity. Despite their small numbers, nomadic groups expanded due to the availability of grazing lands, 
leading to the emergence of distinct factions, the settled Philomene and the nomadic Philomene. In the 16th century, Tengrano Koli, a nomadic Philomene leader, rose against the Songhai Empire's edicts limiting grazing space. His rebellion, though he perished in battle, spurred the Philomene to conquer regions northwest of the Jalo Mountains, establishing new lines of kingship. By the 18th century, the Philomene's power extended southward and eastward, bringing them into conflict with the Royal Empire. This era saw the rise of leaders like Usman Dan Fodio, who sought to reform Muslim practices, leading to the establishment of centralized Philomene empires. Religiously, the Philomene embraced Islam, following the Maliki school and adhering to Sunni Muslim practices. Their political dominance grew steadily in the 17th and 18th centuries, culminating in the Philomene Empire founded by Usman Dan Fodio, which included smaller states like the Fauta Jalan and the Messina. These regions later became known as the Tagri to the Arabs. Migration played a crucial role in shaping Philomene history. Over a span of a thousand years, from 100 AD to about 19 AD, Berber migrations from North Africa to Senegal region brought the Philomene into the spotlight. These migrations led to encounters with various African tribes, resulting in the Philomene conquering less powerful groups. Despite the complexities and debates surrounding their origins, the Philomene people's genetic evidence suggests an indigenous West African origin. Historical and archaeological records support the Philomene's presence in Western Africa since the 5th century AD, with rock paintings in the Tosilian Ajdur indicating proto philomene cultural traits. The Philomene language, known as Phila, exhibits linguistic ties with Arabic and Berber, reflecting interactions with North Africa. Phila categorized within the Niger-Congo language family, has multiple dialects associated with different regions such as Futa Toro, Futa Jalan, Mazina, Sokoto, and Adamula. As the Fulani people face the challenges of modernization and the risk of losing their nomadic identity, they grappled with adapting to changing times. The clash between the traditional way of life and the demands of an evolving world raised questions about cultural preservation and the future trajectory of the Philomene people. The Philomene people's narrative unfolds through the lenses of migration, conquest, religious transformation, and cultural adaptation, creating a dynamic and multifaceted story, deeply rooted in the history of West Africa. The Fiori's story is one of complexity and diversity, spanning centuries and continents, reflecting the intricate tapestry of West African history and culture. Finally, most Fulani people are taken as Sunni Muslims, but are also influenced by the larger Muslim Brotherhood. For most of the Fulani people, the settled Fulani are more devout in religious activities compared to the nomadic Fulani. 
The Sunni people's dynamic narrative extends beyond political and religious realms, encompassing social structures, cultural practices, and their interactions with neighboring communities. The Sunni's societal fabric is woven with a deep appreciation for beauty, expressed through intricate tattoos adorning their bodies. Notably, the blackish color of a Fulani woman's lips, often a result of hen or tattooing, serves as a distinctive feature, reflecting the importance placed on aesthetics. The Fulani people, numbering around 38 million and spread across 18 African countries, face the challenges of balancing tradition and modernity. Their story, rooted in migration, conquest, and cultural adaptation, continues to unfold, revealing the resilient people, navigating the complexities of a changing world while holding onto the core elements that define their identity. Historians trace the entry of the Fulani people into present-day Senegal from the north and east. They were a mixture of people from sub-Saharan and northern Africa. After the 10th century, they mostly moved in an eastern direction spreading into a large part of West Africa. Another historical point of view is seen in the book The History of the Upper Guinea Coast by Walter Rodney who argued that the Fulb or Fulani people were originally from North Africa and they also went on a conquest against the Futa Jalan region led by the Fulani Khalid and Brunner. Another theory places the origin of the Fulani people with the Berber people of North Africa between the 8th and 11th century AD. According to this theory, the Berbers migrated and mixed with the Senegalese people of West Africa, and the Fulani people came into existence. Despite the speculations, Surrounding the origin of the Fulani people, current genetic evidence suggests an indigenous West African origin among the Peel. Historical records, as well as archaeological records, have placed the origin of Peel speakers in Western Africa from around the 5th century AD. There are also rock. Paintings that are found in the Tassilian Ajdu which suggests the presence of proto fulani cultural traits around the 4th millennium BC which are still practiced by contemporary Fulani people. Linguistic ties. The Fulani language has many known words from the Arabic and Berber view interactions with North Africa. Fula is a major Congo language, of the Atlantic languages branch of the major Congo languages, and of the Senegambian sub-branch of Atlantic major Congo languages. The spoken language of the Fulani, known as Fula, is also sometimes called Fulfeld or Pulea. In spite of the geographical distribution of the Fulani people, similarities exist between their grammar and vocabulary. Five major dialects or regions can be associated with the Fulani language which includes Futa Toro, Senegal slash Mauritania, Kuta Jalan, Guinea, Mazina, Mali, Sokoto, Nigeria, Adamawa, Cameroon. With most of Fulani people being Muslims, 
they can write and read Arabic. Many of them can speak either French or English, depending on the European country that colonized their region. The Fulani people speak an old class language, which can be split into two dialect regions, Pula, spoken west of the Niger River, and Fulfold, spoken east of the Niger River Bend. A noun class system is a device in language for constructing nouns based on having classifications for any reference to person or thing to which a noun word refers. He has 24 to 26 classes of nouns, all with abstract categorization criteria not relating to gender. The Fulani people originated from the area near the Senegal River and the upper Niger River majorly as cattle farmers who shared their lands with other groups like the Sonyang. They contributed to the rise of the Empire of Ghana. Around the 16th century, the Fulani stretched through the Sahel grasslands from today's Senegal to Sudan. These expansions were led by nomadic groups of cattle breeders eastward and westward. Though these nomadic groups were small in number, they soon expanded and increased in size, solely because of the availability of grazing lands in the Sahel grasslands. Despite the expansion, Two distinct groups emerged amongst them, the settled Fulani and the nomadic Fulani. These groups eventually became separate, political entities with their different leaders. The first nomadic Fulani leader to rise in the homelands of ancient Ghana was Tengwela Kali. You were posted by asking Muhammad of the Songhai Empire. The edict limited the grazing space available, for the Nasser revolt was sparked against the empire in 1512. Though Kony was killed in battle, the rebellion against the Songhai rule continued. Beyond the adornments, the Fulani people maintain a strong sense of pride, evident in their nomadic herding lifestyle. Cattle, the most prized possessions in Fulani society, serve as a measure of wealth. However, this centrality of cattle has sparked conflicts, particularly with local farmers as the herds occasionally graze on their fields, revealing the complexities of coexistence between different livelihoods in West Africa. Traditional ceremonies, such as spear duels marking the coming of age for young boys, showcase the Fulani's emphasis on bravery and fearlessness. While such rituals have historical significance, some have faced legal restrictions due to safety concerns. These cultural practices underscore the Fulani's commitment to preserving their unique heritage, even as external influences and modernization pose challenges to their traditional way of life. As modes of transportation modernize across West Africa, the Fulani face the risk of losing their nomadic identity. Settlements in farms and villages become a necessity, presenting a stark contrast to their historical lifestyle. This shift raises questions about the preservation of Fulani culture, and the potential impacts on their societal dynamics. The Fulani's respect 
for a strict caste system further shapes their social structure. Divided into nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves of wealthy Philomi, this caste system influences various aspects of their lives, including social interactions, economic roles, and inherited statuses. In the realm of religion, the Fiori's adoption of Islam as their core faith plays a central role in their identity. The Maliki school of Islam guides their religious practices, encompassing obligations such as praying five times a day, reciting the Quran, fasting, pilgrimage to Mecca, and almsgiving Dutch.